welcome to Career Corner, where we discuss every and any career-related topics. My name is TC. I am here today to discuss five ways to stay positive at work during this pandemic. I'm going to give you a mini disclosure. By no means do I want you to take this information and use it out of context. This information is to be used as a guide and is based off of my personal experiences. Um, take this information and use it to help you to grow in your career path. All right, let's get started. So I know it's very difficult to talk about some of the things that have been going on. I'm not even going to try to talk about them. No, not at all. But I, I will say that hopefully all of this will be coming to an end sometime in the near future. Because as I am tired, I'm sure you are tired as well of all of the things that we've been dealing with while in this pandemic. I know it's giving me anxiety being in the house all day and trying to avoid people. And I'm about to lose my mind. Trust me. Me and an 11-year-old... Yeah, about to lose my mind. I wanted to give five tips on how to stay positive during the pandemic while you're working. A lot of us have been working from home during the pandemic, and there are a lot of essential workers out there that have to deal with customers on a daily basis, face to face, and hats off to you, and thank you for your contributions and being an essential worker. We appreciate you. Um, I wanted to go into five topics that helped me during the pandemic to remain positive while being at home and working from home. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that has helped me during the pandemic to be positive is surrounding myself with positive people. Obviously, um, I only live with my daughter, so I, that may be hard to do. But there are other things that you can do in order to kind of surround yourself in positivity. Um, you can listen to podcasts, have it playing in the background while you're working. Uh, something positive. If you don't have Spotify, maybe Apple Music. If you don't have Apple Music, maybe YouTube. YouTube is essential and it has all of the videos that you may need to have positive affirmations. So check it out. And if you don't have Spotify and Apple Music, I would suggest YouTube. Number two, um, create a routine. Easier said than done. I know. I get it. It's very hard to maintain a routine throughout the week, but try. Trust me, it is so helpful. It also helps to keep you organized for the day. Sometimes you may be, you know, experiencing clutter within your mind and you need to just understand what it is that you need to do. And sometimes you can be off track, but Having a routine kind of helps you um, to have a flow for your day and even your week. Even if you don't create like a daily routine, I would say create a weekly routine. Things that you want to touch on, things that you don't want to touch on, things that are pending, things that are not pending. This will help you stay organized in the end. And trust me, you'll thank me. <laughs> Number three, be nice. Why do I even have to say that? It's some people out there that are not nice. And don't be nice, nasty. You know what I'm talking about. Nice, nasty. With the intent of being nasty, but you conveying the niceness within your voice and your tone. And that's another thing. Keep in mind that your tone displays some type of positivity. Whether it's email, because people read tones via email. Um, that's not based off of you, but that's based off of their perception. So just keep that in mind when you're sending off emails and even when you're talking over the phone, people can hear things in your voice, whether or not you're trying to convey that. Number four, look at challenges as lessons and areas of opportunity. I know sometimes in our minds, we think that, oh, it's the end of the world. I failed. It's not, trust me. Those are things that help us grow as humans. It's part of the human experience. If you don't fail at something, then how are you able to grow? I'm listening. I'm waiting on responses. I'll be waiting forever. <laughs> I just feel like 
people take this and they just run with it. They're like, oh my God, I failed. That's never a thing. Like when you take a failure or when you think of things that you didn't complete or you weren't able to successfully complete, look at it as a lesson. Um, I used to tell my team, I'm a manager, um, I used to tell my team pre-pandemic that you want to always take those challenges and and areas of opportunity and grow from them because without you going and experiencing those challenges you're not able to get to the next level you're not able to grow and you'll remain stagnant and who wants to be stagnant i don't want to be stagnant i hope you don't want to be stagnant either so yeah and number five last but not least (sighs) ah express gratitude I do it often. Not as often as I should, but I do it often. I have a book where I talk about all the things that I'm grateful for, whether it's work-related or personal. I feel as though when you express gratitude, it helps you to kind of reflect on some of the positives that are happening in your life that you may not be aware that are positive, just the little things that count. Um, But definitely always try to show gratitude, whether you're writing it down, whether you're expressing it out loud, um, whether you're doing it to a person that you work with on a daily basis. It's very important to always express gratitude. It's okay to say thank you. Or even if something that you did wrong, um, look at it as a different aspect. When you see an email come through that said, well, this was incorrect. Well, thank you for pointing this out. Um, I'll make sure that I don't make this error again in the future. Or I'll ensure that I jot this down for future references. Anything that's going to help you um, to remain grateful for some of the little things that you have and little pieces of knowledge that you may be receiving because some people could be jerks and not even tell you when you're messing up and just send it on up to the top to let them know that you messed up. So these are just things to be conscious of when you're working in a career setting. (sighs) So those are my five tips for how to be positive in the workplace during a pandemic. Well, during this pandemic. (laughs) I hope that this information was helpful to somebody. Um, If you like this video, please, please, please hit the thumbs up button for me. Um, If you want to see more content like this, please leave a comment and or subscribe. Um, Thank you for tuning in and watching and listening to me talk about positive things. I hope you are staying safe and positive. Thanks for watching. Thank you.